folks cue ball back uh, hopefully you can see everything these two bolts here which are your uh, caliper bolts to hold it onto the bike it's a 12 mil to get it off anti-clockwise these ain't been off for a while so I'm hoping it shouldn't be too bad to come off let's crack that one off I'd advise I'll have to use a bit of WD-40 to loosen it up not with loosening them up now so let's get them off it's just come off with your hand now everything. The camera's got quite a wide lens on it, so it shouldn't be so bad. I've done one of these videos before on the Bandit, not so much on as it did are. Obviously if you had these before, they've put like, some copper slip or something on them. Come somewhere safe. Yeah, definitely a bit of copper slip on them. Next job is getting the caliper off. Well, that weren't so bad. Just come straight off. Get a little bit of a wriggle if it don't, and off it comes. Have a look inside there, look. all the gunk. So, first job, I always advise put the bolts back in so you don't lose them. And uh, these are braided, so not so bad. Most people say don't leave them hanging. They do suggest to uh, support them if you can. So if I just drop that camera down there, just put that there. Just rest the caliper so it's not hanging. Clean it and something better for the camera. Hey, folks, back again. I'm going to do a lot of chopping and editing in this video. So, yeah, we've taken it off the disc if that's the bit we've got to. I'm going to attempt to take the pads out. So there's a little thing on the top of the caliper, so I'm going to remove that. Just bring it in and show you. That's it, a small allen key. Anti clockwise, take that out. Just loosen that up. Like so, same with the other one. Set up some space. That should just come out by hand now. Add pressure on them. Like so. I'm going to do the same trick with this as well, put them back in so we don't lose them. Two small Allen bolts. That top piece should come off. The best thing to do leave it in that same position that you took it out of so you don't forget where it is I'm just going to screw them back into the top of the caliper so we don't lose them and then look into the top there's a pin that holds them pads in place to be honest I'm not going to be able to remove that. If I take that out, I might not be able to get it back in. Well, if it was the same lock on the band, that you end up drilling the back of the caliper. So there is a pin on there. I'm not trying to remove that pin a second. See if that will come out. If that pin will come out, then I can remove the pads. Just give a bit of leverage. There we go. 
go. Put that pin to one side. Let's see if that pin moves now. I'm going to try and get some pliers in there maybe. But if there's no if it doesn't move, I'm not going to remove it, I'll just clean it as it is. I mean, you can buy them on eBay, they are cheap enough. Well, that's moving, so that's a good sign. So that comes out, hopefully. I'll give that a clean up. There we go. I would advise buy a new one of those. In this case, I haven't got one. So put that pin back in there so you don't lose it. Put that to one side. If you don't know where it's going, just take a photograph before you do it. Take the pads out. Two pads. Still plenty of meat in them yet. I'll give them a clean up as well. Just don't forget which way they went in. Yeah. Just guessing that way. Not that way anyway. That to one side. And then we've got... Uh, there's your piston. So what I'm going to do... Down. Back again folks, this instance I'm just going to use this bike puck, there are probably all of better ways of doing it, but I, I don't want to put nothing too thick in there because I want to be able to pump them brakes out, so the next job I'm going to pump them pistons out, so I can bring you in, you can see them moving as, the, as you're pumping them, same, should be the other side. Just get you in. Yep, they're coming out. So I'm going to pump them out. Just got me all around. I've only got one pair of hands. So I'm going to pump them out. I've laid far and pumping them out because if the one comes further than the other, I won't be able to clean them up. Back again, as you can see there, that one's come out the furthest, that one's come out the furthest, that one's not. They do say, only pump them out to where, as soon as you see the shiny bit, stop pumping it out. The idea is you want to get rid of all this gunk here, so you, when you push it back in, you don't want to push all that crap back in. Eventually, these calipers will need a service, they'll need new dust seals, and fluid seals. For now, I'm just going to clean them up. That one down seems to want to come out as much, that's probably... There are other tricks I've seen, people have held pistons in and pumped them out, but I'm no expert. I'm here to just give them a clean. So, do as best as I can. And then obviously when the pads and there's nothing left, I'll have the complete caliper serviced. So I'm going to uh, get some soapy water, give them a good clean, and then give them a, another clean with some brake cleaner. And uh, put it all back together. Folks, back again. Next job, get yourself some hot water, soapy water, sponge, rag and an old toothbrush, get in there, get a good scrub. So, if I uh, can get you in there, look, now we've got the pistons out, give the pistons a good scrub and clean, get all that muck off. Both sides, the back as well. Should do this every about every six months really, especially if you're riding in the winter. Well, we'll be having them serviced. And if any of you do watch the channel, get yourself on Facebook and check out LBMS Autos. Good friend of mine. Um, he's got his own garage now, and if you need any repairs. Suggest me, Q-Ball Productions or Cheeky Bastards Motorcycle Group, and he'll sort you out. MOTs and servicing on bikes, and he also does car repairs, but not MOTs, only on bikes. Check him out. Yeah, back to the video anyway. Get in there, give him a good scrub. As you can see, that one's coming up nice now. Nice and shiny. When it comes to be serviced, I might have to have the... See that one's moving now, look. 
which is always a good sign. Yeah, much gunks in there. If there's any pit, pits in the thing, you'll end up replacing these pistons, and they're not. I think they're about forty pounds a set. It's the best to look after them where you can. Not a cheap job, but we'll be having the seals done. See, you can already see it a lot, lot better. Get the sponge in there now, eh? Let's give them a really good clean and the calibre itself. Let's give it one more giving the tough brush. Don't worry about the camera getting wet. Our pro sessions fully waterproof. Give another scrub again. And as you can see, they look a lot better than what they did when we took it off. Next job, get some brake cleaner. Back in a sec. Again, in this case, Holtz brake cleaner. Just get in there, get a good spray. Don't worry about it getting everywhere, this stuff dries out. Best stuff to clean, use it for all sorts of stuff. Both sides. Wear gloves if you want to. I'm not bothered about it. Let's get the tough brush in there again, give it another scrub. See, you can spend hours doing this. I'm just giving it a quick clean, a bit more brake cleaner in there. Don't work to give your discs a clean either, give your bobbins a service now and then. I've got a video on that. Um, give it a wipe and while we're here, just give the pads a clean. Dip him in, give him a good scrub. And if you have got some uh, copper grease, put it on the back of the pad. Stop the pad squeaking. I ain't got none in this case, but these will be, as you can see, about another thousand, two thousand miles in them. And they'll be getting replaced anyway. Both done. Let's give it a scrub. Brake cleaner on them. Same done. Give the pin a clean. Take that pin out so you don't lose it. Said so I would suggest. To buy a new one. I think you get the kit, the kit for about five quid per caliper. In this case, I haven't got one. Well, as Del Boy said in one of his old videos, a set of them could cost you eight quid. That's three beers. A pin of scrub as well. Get a quick spray with brake cleaner. Together so we don't lose it. Remember it goes in that way. Stop it popping out. Might as well give that a clean as well. I forget which way it went. All the gunk. Put it back together. So, first job, you can get 
get in, just move everything out of the way. First job is the pads. Uh, we need to push them pistons back first. There's a number of ways you can do it. You can only damage the piston. You can, sometimes you can push them back with your hand if you're lucky enough. Push them back first. Oh, it's Alex back again. Managed to push them back. There's a number of, sort of things to do it. Get some it in there and wedge it. The big pair of the uh, plier type tools and push them back. Just watch you don't damage any of the pistons. Most of the time you can get your hand in there and push them back. We can get some it in there and force them back. But in this case, I didn't video most of it because I had need both my hands to, to push them back so now they're pushed back um, next job the workspace is putting the pads back in it's quite simple and we all know how to change pads so get your pads drop your pads back in correctly get your pin Take that small pin out, put that somewhere safe. Push that in. So that one without the hole is going against the caliper that's got no hole. So push that in. Just make sure your pads are lined up. You see it's gone in then, and you just get it in that hole at the back. Just make sure it's all lined up. And it's gone back in quite nice. Just make sure that hole there, so you can get the pin back in. This pin here, just drop it in. And as you can see there's three lumps on it, make sure down to the second one and then just the last one the second one so the bottom of the pin touches the caliper and you need that gap at the top so you can pull it out for after make sure that's all nice and secure so your pads don't come flying out that's all nice and secured next job get that piece of metal not forgetting to take the allen key things out after you put them in the caliper so you don't lose them tell which way it goes back in dirty underneath mostly even after I've cleaned it and these all line up with the two uh, allen holes put them back in like so make sure you've got the right allen key tighten them up like I said, you can put a bit of copper grease on if you want to. I have got some grease in the shed. Oh, I'm not fussed. These will be getting serviced soon anyway. Just mainly a clean up. Clockwise tighten them back up. Do it. Use a torque wrench if you want to. Next job, get your caliper, make sure you've got enough room between the pads. Make sure the pads go back on the disc in the middle where the pads are. Not between the piston and the back of the pads, I've seen a picture of that. Hi folks, cue all back after you've managed to finally get your uh, caliper back on then it's time to line these up with these and put the two main bolts 
back on. So, let's get the camera in a position. Tight to start with. Make sure they're lined up. You're in the 12 mil uh, socket. Tighten them up nicely. As I said before, don't over tighten these. I've snapped one of these before. Got a nice feeling. The old manual loop loops it. Really I suggest talking them up. The thing is if you overdo them, then you have that case of snapping them. Right, wrist tight. Weaky stand. Strike on your oil some, you don't need to go and over tighten them. Don't let it lean your night. I'm going to leave it there. And a little tip. Oh, right. Next tip. You can see that. Get some of your missus' miss fine nail varnish. This is a Del Boys garage tip that I've always used. That's how long I ain't used it for. I normally wear it on a Friday night. Get a little bit of it, put a bit on the bolt, like so, then a bit on the fork leg piece. So then, when you come to check it the next day, if that's moved, you know it needs tightening up. Just a bit more. All done. And there we go, folks. Belts lined up. And last tip, most importantly, make sure you pump that brake lever out so the pin, the pistons go out and the pads stick to the disc. Give it a good pump. There we go. I can see from here the pads are perfectly on the disc test after now we get to pump them out and that's how to clean up your brake calipers pads and all moving parts inside the caliper on a ZZR 1100D 94 and it will probably work on most other motorcycles over to the next one ride safe